Well, we have our recent graduate uh, class of November 2016. We have Julie, we have Virginia, and Trish. And everybody's here just telling us the experience that they had in the past five days. So in your own words, tell me what you thought about the, the structure of the program, uh, what you felt before you got here, uh, and how you feel now that the five days are done. And try not to look so serious. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, anybody wants to jump in, you can converse back and forth and tell everybody your experience. The fact that you have done over 60,000 horses, Melissa's done over 12,000 horses, and you've condensed all of this knowledge into a course that you can test yourself on and really retain the knowledge to come here and put it to work is unbelievable and it's fantastic and I just I can't even say enough amazing things about about the coursework itself even without the experience hands-on. So you found that it was pretty complete? Absolutely. You, you felt prepared when you got here? Absolutely. Because there's a lot of stuff that I threw in there and then I threw more stuff on top of it when you got here. Uh, the nuances, the little things. Mm -hmm. And it was almost overwhelming, wasn't it? Just, a little bit, yes it yeah, was. Yeah. And your mind is a little bit mushy right now, right? <laughs> a little bit. I, I wouldn't even call it mush right now. It's like soup. But it's good. It's a good <laughs> it's mush, a, it's right? Because you've got a lot of things in your head now that you never dreamed was possible that you could work with. We worked with 42 horses this week. And right. horses we'd never seen before. And they just came to you, didn't they? I mean, they didn't give you hardly any trouble. In Most of them. We had the one that had a little bit of pain, so we medicated with the rest of them. You're really cool, right? Very. Yeah, I'm actually surprised um, how far along we are, um, just in what we've learned hands-on in four days, really. Um, when I signed up, I thought, in four days, like, am I gonna be ready to approach a horse by myself? I mean, and, and I really feel confident that I can approach that horse and I can begin and, you know, do an okay job, you know, mm -hmm. and, and without necessarily having you guys standing right there with me. And I, I wasn't sure that was going to be possible, to be honest. Like, I sure. it just, you know, it, it didn't occur to me that we could learn so much in such a short amount of time. But it, it's really impressive. Your your teaching style is, is really fantastic. And Thanks. I love how you could read each of us the same way you read the different horses. I mean, it's it's critical to know who your audience is, and, and you guys really nailed that. Oh, so, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. Um, you're all pretty tired now. <laughs> <laughs> and And everyone looks at the structure and they say, okay, we're gonna have one day sitting around talking about the, what you learned, and then another day where you go around and just watch us. And you had a really cool, cool comment when you saw us put our hands in the horse's mouth for the first time. Yes. Yeah, just tell us a little bit about that. So I can compare it to the moment when you ride a bike for the first time and you're sitting on the bike and there's that moment where you're not sure if you're gonna have a balance or if you're gonna fall over, but you have to get past that. You have to get past that moment and you just have to, you just have to push on the pedals and go. And in the beginning of the week, we're at that point where we're teetering on the bicycle, we don't know if we're gonna fall, if we're gonna even be able to do this ever. And you're you're sticking your hand in these horses' mouths, you're doing amazing work with these horses and they respond so beautifully to you and the work is impeccable. Um, you guide us through that moment where we're not sure if we're gonna fall and we ride at, at this point in the week. Mm -hmm. And it's such an emotional and life-changing experience to be guided through something like that with with um, people such as yourselves and the amazing horses we were blessed to work with this week was just were phenomenal. They, amazing? Really? they were all Thanks. amazing and the people who allowed us uh, in and, and working with you guys, I'm really thankful to them too and all the horses of course. <laughs> yeah. There seems to be a huge depth, doesn't there? It's just like you have this coursework which just seems like a one layer and then you come here and you discover another layer and then another layer and by the fourth day and fifth day you're sitting here saying how many more layers can we go? And, and then you see some horses that are difficult, and then all of a sudden, they melt for you. Man, that's got to feel really cool for you guys, too. I mean, I don't know. Um, talk to me. Tell, me. tell me things like, um, today, 
we have Trish on the end here, who's like, what, two, three feet tall? Something ridiculous. <laughs> Almost two foot. Yeah. <laughs> and, and she's sitting here with a giant of a Percheron whose head is about the size of her. I mean, I, I have a picture of her where I think the horse is just going to, like, one bite could take her whole head in right in there. <laughs> and, and yet you climbed right in like it was nobody's business. You said you were so confident now. What was it that just gave you that confidence? I mean, well, coming into this, uh, Monday was just a bunch of more information kind of tying things, questions that we had that we had to kind of just wait till we got here to figure them out. Tuesday, we were climbing into the horse's mouth, kind of getting some feel. By the end of Tuesday, I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to leave here and do a horse by myself. Mm. Wednesday, I found the tea, or Wednesday, I was fumbling around trying to find the tea, getting really mm -hmm. frustrated with myself, bringing my energy up, horses weren't working with me, stepped back, brought my energy down, and con really connected with them, those horses. And to just see the reaction just like that, it's emotional. You, al you almost want to cry yourself because you're just like, I just did that. Wednesday, I was still like, I, I don't think this is enough time for me. Thursday, I found the tea, first try. I'm not anywhere near close to being where I want to be, but I found the tea on my own without somebody guiding me to them. Today, my arms are about shot. I can still get my hands above my head, but uh, this Percheron was my last horse of the day. His head being low is still me above working above my head. He was an angel. And you could just, the connection that you feel when you just walk into these horses, when your energy is low, you just know you can do it. You just go in there and they just tell you with their energy, go right ahead. I'm not going to do it. Just do what you need to do. And it, isn't it fun when the horse uh, reflects back to you and says, thanks, you know, I've taken the pain away, you've listened to me, you've gotten this, and you have this incredible connection. Uh, for me and Melissa, it's like every day, we've been doing this for 30 some odd years. Um, for you guys, it, it's got to be addicting in a way, isn't it? Very much yeah. so, for sure. Yes. Yeah. Are you glad you decided to do this? Absolutely. And yes, I'm not paying you to say this, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not holding you a hostage here, right? We had to set up with Jeff the whole week. <laughs> fair warning. But fair, fair, fair warning. We had to put up with Jeff the whole week, but the horses and Melissa made up for it. <laughs> um, if, if anyone's nervous initially, something that I was kind of nervous about, um, coming in and not knowing exactly what to expect, the first day was so amazing. Upon walking into the house, the welcoming reception that we <laughs> received. I mean, just like the horses, they say we don't have, you know, 30 days, 30 minutes or anything. We have 30 seconds or less to connect with the horses. They were able to do that with, with me. And I don't know if you guys had the yes. same experience, but the family is amazing. Um, everyone is just incredible. And the first day coming in and learning everything with Melissa, Dr. Tucker, the whole family, um, was was really important and and critical for the rest of the week. That's good to hear. We feel like that first day is so critical just to get comfortable and relaxed and review everything that you've crammed in that head of yours and before you got here and then, yeah. Uh, so, any other words you want to give to anybody else who might be thinking about doing this? You can do it. <laughs> I promise. I promise. If you think that that you can't. You will. You will rise to the occasion, and, and you will do it. I promise you can cool. do it. There's nothing more rewarding than, than giving a voice to these amazing horses and, and helping them. All right. Thanks, Virginia. Anything else? This is not just about connecting with horses. This gives you a new perspective on how to go back home and be able to connect with your own family. If you've been having problems anywhere in your life, mm -hmm. friends, spouses, kids, whatever. It gives you a brand new perspective. And I am so excited to go home and try this on my little boy. 
<laughs> on how to deal with it and how to just change the way you think and the way you do things. And it's all the very first horse you connect to. You may think you're a horseman right now, but wait till you actually connect when your hand's in the mouth. It's, it's undescribable. Cool. Cool. Julie, any, any words? Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it really, it, it's, it, it really is, uh, a mirror to your own soul, you know, like the stuff you're putting back there, out there is what you're getting back. And there's no denying that, you know, once you've felt it, you're like, it was a beautiful, yeah, that was me. That wasn't you. You find so. another side to yourself that you didn't even think was maybe damaged or lacking in a way, you find that you were, and you're just, you mm -hmm. find that wholeness that you're just, you're ready to go out and conquer the world. It almost fills a missing part that you didn't yes. know was missing. Yeah, and, and you filled our hearts too. I am so blessed to get three separate people that you guys have three completely different personalities. And you brought to the table all of those. And it was quite a challenge for Melissa and I together to work with you, but it was exciting. And every day, I think we just can't say enough about how much fun we have with you guys. So, I mean, we look forward to having more and more people come down here and then get together for a reunion, a continuing education, something in the future, where we all get together and exchange all the stories of these connections that we make with horses. Thank you so much for taking the time and doing this video for us. And uh, thank you, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.